un peu nerveuse. Détendez-vous. Vous serez sorti à 5 heures, ne vous inquiétez pas. Vous avez quelqu'un qui vous attend Yeah, so, um, really with this man, I, what I approached you about, like, I really wanted to kind of, because we were kind of talking about, like, just, like, some stuff that, nostalgia and stuff like that, and I used to always remember, like, watching, like, those, like, TV, like, news, like, interviews, like, with Sway, yeah. with, like, uh, yeah. like, you know, like, a pop of arts, with, like, a movie, like, a project and stuff like that, but was, the cool thing with those interviews, though, it wasn't just, like, oh, like, really the song, a lot of times that artist will have something that was just like going on yeah. at that time. And I really felt like with this project, I had a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot going on. So uh, that's why I reached out to you. Um, or anything, I just like love your, your your words, your opinions on anything music related. Uh, and I know it's not just like, oh, so tell me about this and this. Like, I actually want to have like, a just change of yeah, you know, like, Something like kind of like uh, what's through your mind when you listen to it, or just like overall, like, how much do you know what's the best thing about the about the project is that uh, some of the albums I think have come out in the past two years, or maybe the past like 16 months, mm -hmm. um, are taking I think a few different approaches to because you like worked on this in the past few months, right? Yeah, yeah. Or so. Mm -hmm. uh, are taking like a couple different approaches to like sound thematic concerns. Um, and some of them are about, some of them have a, like a weight to them, where you can feel the artist working through some things that they probably haven't figured out yet. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking of maintaining is that it's kind of like, I mean, it's a finished and full project, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like emotionally, you know what I mean? Yes. Which, um, I think that, you know, I think an album that doesn't require me to find any answers, mm -hmm. uh, or at least like revels in the fact that none of us really have the answer. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm interested in how you arrived at that conclusion. Funny, funny enough is, um, to be honest with you, like a lot of the songs that actually I recorded were like in the midst of really just not knowing, like fresh out of, uh, out of a breakup, like Smiles was like a month, month that I have after that. And it was still kind of like, you know, like in that weird, like limbo phase of like, you know, being like friends, but like also too, it's like you don't, it's so fresh that you really don't know like where it's at. Uh, and also too, like uh, the weight of having like a breakup during a fucking global pandemic. Yeah, man. Is, I know. I know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot, it's, it's, it's hard to process. Um, I, I said like um, in an interview with, with Andy uh, Downey where I was like, um, it, it's, it was hard because like the things that we can like kind of go to like friends and, and stuff like that were like not even that like wow but just like oh let me just like go out to kind of decompress like it, it was none of that like it was I had to like really deal with that and face all of that for at least like two or three months like after the breakup uh, where I wasn't like seeing my friends and stuff so um, that's actually when I started to record again because the first part of the year was just like I had like no like really energy or like motivation to record. It was like kind of like I gotta like live through this. Um, Cause I, I know some artists like they kind of like wrap up the fact of like oh like when we're going through something to to record and like make something like that type of piece. But I had to like step back and like really just like live um, and kind of like uh, especially like when the process and stuff like we're going on. Like there's no way like I, I was like able to like yo I'm about to like. Gonna make a, a song about like, what, what's going on right now. I, I really didn't have the energy to right. like, do that. Like I had energy to like try to actually like help out <laughs> the things that were like going on in the, in the community as much as I can. Um, so, but yeah, it, it was. I, I think the reason why it was incomplete because like literally a lot of the songs were like made in the process of just like they were kind of like in limbo. Like when I actually like, made it. So, um, it's funny enough. It's like some of those have kind of, I wouldn't say that I have resolutions, but they've like kind of progressed. And even like listening to some of the songs, it might be a certain like line or something where I'm just like, uh, that's not actually relevant right now. And I wish I could like go back. But it's not about go back, but it's like, oh, I know for the next project or like the next like release and stuff like that, those are like kind of like topics I can kind of uh, go, go back and like revisit it. So um, how did you like, you, you kind of like got that from me? Because it, it definitely was, 
like looking back, there, there wasn't really a, like a true like resolution of anything. And, and even with, with the title of like Main Ten, just kind of like just getting through the moment and, and not like the moment is like at the end. There's something real also. What I like about uh, particularly like this wave mm -hmm. of rappers who have come up in the city mm -hmm. or like around the city, uh, I feel like I'm in an era where like I've seen many waves of rappers come yes. to the city, and it feels like uh, there's a, a real communal practice that is, that is involved with this cohort that you're kind of in now. Where even beyond music, you know, like I think that. Um, like, I know your friends produced on the album, you know, the team did a thing, and you know, camp, it's like, it's, a, it's a yeah. kind of like a full body thing, where um, you're kind of like pushing the limits of what community actually looks like in Christian practice. Um, how many Christians did Tally produce? One or two? Just one. I really love that one. I, the, the one that I know he produced, I really love it. Yeah, and the, the funny thing with that one is, uh, to be honest with you, over the years, like, when I actually make music, I know... There hasn't been too many times when I'm like actually sitting with a producer and they like, and we create like a record like from scratch. Um, and that one was literally like us. I went over his crib. I was like, this is kind of like, I, did, I played like a bunch of like songs of just like kind of like feeling what I, I, I was like, kind of like feeling at the moment or what I was kind of like looking for production wise. And uh, he was like, oh, I, I think I can kind of like have an idea for that. And then he kind of just like started with the drums. And um, it was quickly like built. Um, I think the cool thing is with kind of like making it from scratch, like with him. Um, while he was like making it, I was like kind of conjuring up like ideas of like how, how it did it. And uh, I like that one a lot because of it, it, it really feels like a, a build up of like, and I, it was very purposeful, like the way I did like the first verse. It's kind of like, kind of like more like monotone and stuff like that. And kind of like melodic for the hook. And then for the second verse, it's like much more. Uh, more, more like energy with the yeah. verse, and yeah. even like with, with, with production, it's like more stuff like in the background going on. It kind of like building like towards the climax to like the, the last look. Uh, so there'll be something like in my I, like out of mind, like cinematic, like the way you like build up was. Yeah, it was. Um, the funny thing about like my, my friends and stuff like that, and you, you've known because you know, you know, like uh, majority of us and like just like how we work. It's like, it's just not even like potential. Like, yeah. to, it, it's half the time, like, I mean, majority of the time, like, especially like in our group chat and stuff like that, we, we literally don't even like talk about, oh, I'm working on music, or hey, I'm about to go paint a mural. Like, it, like, I would see like that might like come about, like, if we're like, specifically like, doing something like in that moment, so like, oh, you gotta come out to this or something like that. Majority of the time, it's like, it's genuine, like, friendship. Um, and, I think that comes. I think that comes out from like the work that we actually do to, together, and also to like how people perceive us, like even like outside. Like, because uh, I, I definitely will see like situations where there are collectives or or cliques or something like that, and it's never been case with us. It's just like this, like yo, yeah. we really are actually like how works is the work. Yeah. yeah, and coincidentally, all majority of us like do. Like creative shit, and it kind yeah. of like works out that way. Yeah, and it feels like y'all push each other. I, I, especially you and Joey, I think. Um, I've been really excited to see how, particularly y'all two, have grown since. Uh, you know, I was thinking about Carry by Six the other day, and how that was such a formative project for I think everyone involved, mm -hmm. and how everyone involved came out differently. Yes. After mm -hmm. you know, after they went in, I, I thought about that track and how tracks like kind of. Uh, Lazy, particularly, and then I'm ready to run. Um, is it? That's it, though. There's, no, there's not going to be another carry by six thing. Um, so. Super I'm, busy as hell. Soup opening like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, uh, God bless soup. yeah. I think uh, beginning of next. Beginning of September, I think this restaurant's opening. So, I mean, that actually, that was the reason why, um, like, uh, uh, with his project. Uh, they're going to hold. Yeah, yeah, they're going to hold because he had, you know. Uh, that's something to take care of, but that's a that's a good call out. And you kind of said something. Um, I don't know, like spoil it, but don't be surprised if something like materializes from like a me and Joey or something like that. Um, it, it was one of the little things, especially when we did um, uh, this song like High Speed. That uh, it's kind of been on the back of my mind for honestly for like a long time. 
but just the way we are and like and just like being like so close to my friends and stuff like that, I don't I don't like uh being like pushing like anything in terms of like, oh I think this club would be cool. Like it kinda just like, oh yeah, we wanna like hop in the song. But it's kinda being on the back of my mind, like, man, every time me and Joey do a song together, like the chemistry is just like it's not even like like playing like, oh, my verse might be a little bit more melodic, and then his verse might just be like a, a lot more rapping, or like vice versa, or the way he like will do like a hook. Um, it's just very cohesive and it's very like the chemistry is just like there. It's not. It's just like it's really easy, and I've been like recognize that for all the like records we've like, done together. And don't be surprised if like an actual collab project materializes. Um, Especially like with me, like quitting my job. Um, he he coincidentally quit his job. It was about like a year ago, right? Over a year. Ago. Actually, it was wild thing was it was, it was two years ago. It was uh, we had a show in LA, and um, literally after he got off stage, she was like, "Bro, I gotta quit the job." And then like he pretty much like worked for like the next like few months, and then he ended up like quitting fall of 2019, and then of course the pandemic happens. But uh, but yeah, like we 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 kind of talk, and I kind of like put it out there, and he's I, I, I'm pretty sure like something to materialize for me. And I'm like really excited because I, I know when we actually like get in a room together, and I, I really want to get with like specific like producers and kind of like build from the ground up. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think there's going to be like some materialize uh, those two. What's the moment? You know, it's funny. I, I'm like a, I'm a person who did. You worked a nine to five for a long time and then quit it for creative pursuits and that was scary. Uh, but there's time, there's a moment where you like know, where you're like, it's time, you know what I mean? Like, it's time to be done. When did you know? Um, I, I think it's always been in the back of my mind. Um, I think the biggest thing for me was like, I always had this, uh, I think the reason like, the, the way I like, thought about it though was like, oh, I have to have a nine to five so, like, to, you know, to, Buy beats and or like studio time, all this other stuff. Uh, I think one thing we came out of the pandemic is me like being forced to buy like my own like recording equipment and like learning how to like record, which is something I like didn't want to do, but it like always like seemed like just too overwhelming. Uh, but there was just like it was just a domino effect of like so many things that kind of like led up to it, and I've just been having this feeling for like a year or so that like. I've been telling people like I know I'm gonna come into like a fork in the road moment of like I kinda have to like go like left or right and like one is like yo I really kinda like stick it out and like really do this like nine to five thing like like I told you before like I went out for like management position and this is the second time within a year I did it and I came pretty close to getting it again and for me it wasn't I was like salty but it was like kind of like alright we reevaluate like like what am I doing? And like, it just felt like, all right, this is the time to like make that like leap of faith. And um, maybe part of this because like I, I had, I knew I had like maintained and like, like yeah. pretty much like almost like done. And I was like, I know I got something special, and I know if I like really put my all into it in terms of like marketing and the way like I push out there, it's gonna be like something special. But. Um, after I did this position, I remember I, I called off that day and then I go into my group chat like, yeah, y'all, I'm thinking about quitting my job. And then immediately I was like, it's about time. And, cause it, it was like an overlying joke for like a years, but like every time like, I was like, y'all, I'm like getting to work or like I have to like get yeah. today. Joe would be like, or, or I can like, just quit. And I'm just, and then my, my thing was like, I always just like telling about why I didn't do it. And then I remember in the midst of me texting Cam, and I was just giving him all these reasons why I couldn't quit. And then I quickly was like, that's, that's, I need to actually like, think about like, how I can actually pull this off. And then immediately I was like, look, well, I do this. Let me talk to all my homies who like, 70% of them have like, quit their job in like, yeah. a few years, who are like, you know, living off their creative endeavors. So, I know it's, I literally have first hand experience. Like, yeah, they they have, have, they have yeah, so like, it's always like, all right, let me just, me speak some to my friends. And then I think the, the last conversation where I was like, was talking to my parents and they were like, fully on board. They were like, 
we knew this was gonna come at some point because they've always been like you know like how serious I am about my music. It didn't happen like face on music, which has been obviously like a blessing to like actually really genuinely like have the support and like understand like I do like have a future in this. It's not just like some kind of like fantasy that like I, I've been living. They know like yo, I Dominique can like really like do this. So uh, once I kind of got the okay from them. Not even okay, but once I got like the approval, they were like, yo, like, we'll fully support it. We know what you're capable of. Uh, I pretty much was like, yo, I'm, I'm about to be out of here. And then, literally, I think two days later, I put it in my two weeks. And then, here. What's it, what's it been like having a project in the world where you feel like the stakes are higher now? Um, or does it feel free? It's free. Um, I think, I think at some point, the. Uh, the, the six being like higher so it like hit me. Uh, but it's still like being a very like just like free, like you know, having like this out in the world. Uh, and kind of like been able to really kind of just like get my story out there. I, I feel like everybody has obviously like had some story within this past like year plus. Uh, but to be honest with you, even like like mainstream rise like from like artists and like in albums have like listen to the last year um minus like more kind of like gimmicky songs in terms of like oh you know like this was like a song specific, specifically made because of like George Floyd or something like that I feel like we really have to have like too many authentic of like what somebody has like really gone through like hip-hop wise like out like in the past year or so um and also to the way I like I I I think my music is very digestible in a way of just like, like I'm not gonna do like a, a entire song about um, uh, like social injustice or like I, I don't want to make c- c- come across where like it sounds like gimmicky, you know, in a way where like I feel like there are artists who like kind of just like uh, it's just kind of just like they're just like for the moment thing. Yeah, like they're capitalizing off the moment while not doing any work. Yes, yeah, 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 and like that's never been like what I wanted to like give across. I kind of I really want to give it just a very real. Like, yo, just like how I, like how am I doing like in this time? And I was giving like glimpses of that, but also too, I'm giving you glimpses of me and my relationship problems, me uh, having like uh, like family stuff I'm going through, me uh, being like depressed and like kind of like so it is, and trying to like find like happiness again amongst like this craziness. So uh, it is with it's only seven songs, but like I feel like there's a good amount of like layers to it to like build back. Yeah, I was gonna say that album's not really long time wise, but it feels like what was the writing process like? Because it was, did you cut some stuff and end up with seven, or was it always like this gonna be a seven track? Um, it's funny. So like, really, m- m- all the songs were basically recorded within since like fall of last year, except for Above Water, which, funny enough, that was actually we got that done like February of like last year before. It was like, like the pandemic and stuff like that. So like, it was like one of the songs like I recorded around the time that I was like, oh, like this actually is way more relevant like now than it was like when I worked, first I recorded it. And that's like the only song that I kind of like made the cut of like stuff that I was like recording before then. Um, but the right process was cool because like, um, also with me recording at home now, it kind of having that ability of just like, oh, I have an idea, let me just go and just kind of just like get it off and just to see like what it sounds like and I can always like come back and like change it like like whenever I want to instead of like I always have to like schedule a, a recording session and then I have to like make sure I have everything correct because you know like it's getting paid by the hour so yeah. it's like I don't want the studio like like bullshit around so um but yeah it, it was a lot of um a few a few songs honestly like I, I would like go in and not really have like anything like written and like I would maybe kind of just like kind of freeze out some stuff and then get like a few lines and then kind of do the right process like that way where like I have a starting point and then I'll go back and like kind of like write some stuff and like add to it and stuff like that uh added like melodies uh, but yeah it was definitely of like what I was going through like in the moment and like those were very honest feelings like around like if, I was talking also that that happened within a few weeks span, uh, like within a month. So like it was a very 
like relevant project in terms of like everything that you hear is like stuff that like, I really went through like within like the past like year or so. How are you feeling? I know that that's that was my big takeaway when I listened out. I was like, I wonder how he's feeling now. It's like how are you it's one thing to be honest and vulnerable on the record, but you know, you gotta also live. Yeah. Um I'm I don't see I'm better. Um I, I don't feel like I'm just staying the flow right now. I, I think honestly the the definitely the catalyst within the last like month is like me like with my job. That was like such a just like kind of like relief like off of me just because like even during that time like one of the, the reasons why I was like supremely depressed was because of like my work. Um, working from home was cool but then also too it's like I realized like with the job that I work at you know how it was. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And like not actually having other human interactions and d- doing that stuff was tough because I'm just like yo I'm on the phone or like taking a chat and I can't decide to go over to like talk to somebody to kind of even like decompress like any of these moments. So that was tough. Like and like waking up every day and like being like yo I have to like do this for like eight nine hours was like tough for me. So like releasing that part of me and like really being able to kind of like really for the last past month like really kind of like oh I'm really doing this music I'm like really living that life um, has been such a like free experience. So, like my my like overall feeling has been so much better than like how I was feeling like in the midst of like writing these songs. Yeah, yeah. like you're hearing stuff like that. So I don't normally ask this with the artist because you know the producing a product is only half of the work or less. Yeah. But what's next for you now? Because and I ask this in a, a holistic sense, not just like what what's next in terms of creating music. But like what's next? You kind of have this like clean slate of not being bogged down by a job you didn't love. Mm-hmm. And like reaching a level of emotional clarity through the release of this project, all that. So like, what's next with that line? Um, my goal, even before they like quitting my job and stuff like that, um, was like, yo, this year I'm actually going to release the most music I've ever like released in my life. And not only like because I'm just like trying to um, uh, saturate like the market or anything like that. It's just in terms of I have definitely been guilty of like projects or uh, having just like work where I'm just like yo this needs to like see the light of day and like it might be outside of like that year or so and then like I don't want to like release it like it's like old in my mind so to be honest with you like a lot of it's like the thing concentrating on like doing everything well for this project and actually giving it the life like it deserves and not just like dropping it and then within like a few weeks you don't hear me like talking about like the work again uh, after the next few months, it's like I already got like another project like for the fall. Um, to be honest with you, this stuff I was telling you about earlier about like possibly with Joey, I really want to get that um, uh, done. Um, and then after that, it's kind of like figuring out. Um, I, I think like just living. So like I mean I, I do. Uh, want to take like a, a few trips, but like very calculated trips. So, like I, I definitely want to go to New York to kind of like get some uh, things uh, uh, done, um, and just be able to like work on like music, like with like some of my friends, but like actually like together, like um, that I haven't like done before. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I, I think I have a, a pretty like solid plan in terms of like the music side of things. Oh and also uh like my creative writing like I um I'm actually really gonna have like time to really uh just kind of amplify like, more like the pandemic and being home and like, I actually have more time like, to write but like uh, especially like my script writing and stuff like that. Yeah. Um there's definitely like some T V shows and like short films that like um really trying to like get off the ground so it's gonna be a, a lot of that as well too so like kind of getting like a lot of the music stuff kind of like recorded like knocked out so that way i can kind of like focus on that and like get that stuff done too so really uh well, the album is album is beautiful uh I, I think it's something that comes up in like the right season too like it's not necessarily a summer album but it's that like a late summer that 
slow and they kind of moving through the world with the type of heaviness that gets lighter as Alan goes. So thank you for it, man. I really appreciate that, and I really always appreciate your time. Yes, man. Like, I'm more to anything like uh, like your uh, your 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 opinion on like music is like something like I've always like appreciated and. Um, I, I think I've told you this before, but it's like also to like just being for Columbus and like everything that all of the homies are like are trying to like do, like seeing somebody like you like in, in here and still here in Columbus like doing it, bro, like it it's definitely one of those things that like like inspires us and like keeps us like moving as well too because that's always been like one of my goals. It's like I'm trying to do all this shit, but like I really am trying to like still stay in Columbus and like kind of know some shit that maybe hasn't like really like been seen like that before uh like in terms of music and like some other stuff so yeah thank you again for uh for doing this and uh appreciate that